Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Neil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, a leading spread betting and CFD brokerage. Be sure to visit the site at www.cfds.com to certainly learn more with regards to the products and services on offer. Alternatively, visit the uh, educational site at www.cfds.education for updated charts and analysis. Okay, uh, let's see if we can decipher the markets and see exactly where we are trading. You know, Asian markets overnight, stellar rally. Quite an impressive rally overnight. We had the AA Shanghai and the Nikkei certainly posting uh, gains again. Uh, we had a uh, move uh, over in the US markets, quite a substantial move of that. And uh, the uh, European markets certainly gapped higher. Now, at present, we have the Euro stocks, uh, pretty impressive move uh, higher on the Euro stocks. We have a move on the uh, the, the CAC as well, almost 2.2, well, in excess of 2%, uh, and all the DAX almost 2%. Now, the CAC moved more than 2%, that's very impressive. Especially given the French terrorism concerns, etc., the market's totally, totally, totally ignoring them. Now, I've been stopped out this morning on the uh, the French CAC on, on my short. I've been stopped out on my FTSE as well. Uh, the markets are very, very resilient, very, very uh, bullish. Even with regards to terrorism fears, totally negated it all. I mean, look at the actual French CAC. Let me just show you and give you an example. The French CAC was looking at a 10-minute chart. We had a pivot low of... Uh, Obviously, come Monday, yesterday from 4750, the market is up by almost 200 points from that pivot low. And this is on the back of terrorism concerns on a Friday night. That's one hell of a move. Very, very impressive move. Now, given the fact that we'd rallied up to 4855 and obviously it started to short from there, etc., it just continued. So, such a move. Uh, I mean, you can pinpoint it down to a weaker euro, but even then, uh, based on trading, from my understanding, is that the fact that uh, geopolitical concerns, socio-economic concerns, certainly trump any QE effect. And um, QE can only work really when there's no uh, other, obviously, variable that's affecting the move down. Yet this market is resilient. Uh, such an impressive move. Um, hats off. I mean, I wouldn't. If I got a hundred setups like this, I'd take a hundred times. I'd take a short. I would not be going long. I just would not. It's just. It's. Um, <laughs> It's totally oblivious to me. I mean, even look at the German DAX itself as well. I mean, German DAX, what a move. I mean, we had a pivot low of, what, 10,600? I mean, after hours on a Sunday night, we were below 10,500. Now look at it. It's almost 10,000. It's a 500-point move in two days. How do you explain that? We've even surpassed 75% retracement. <laughs> it really is just um, unbelievable. I mean, two days, two days, 500-point move. You have to take your hat off to it. Respect. Okay, so uh, so we continue as traders. We continue. It's not something that we... Uh, I mean, as, as, as a day trader, I mean, at the end of the day, if you're only... Well, I risk 40 points on the DAX and the CAC, and I risk 30 points on the FTSE and uh, the Euro stocks and the, the NASDAQ. I mean, they're the main indices that I trade. And worst case scenario, okay, you stopped at minus 30, minus 40, and then you continue. But imagine those that are short anywhere around this region here and they're probably down two to three four hundred points it's just it's unbelievable truly unbelievable okay uh this is why day trading from my perspective certainly does work uh and is better off for me anyway from my perspective uh, and everybody has their own different trading styles okay so we had this diagonal trend line resistance is even taken that out it just certainly is just i think it's used to taking out having resistance on the german dax so basically, we have uh, the Fib 75% taken out. We have the diagonal trend line taken out. Very, very bullish. Now, in terms of economic data this morning, we've had a um, uh, inflation data uh, out of the UK coming slightly stronger than expected. So that certainly will uh, increase the resilience of uh, the hawks at the BOE. So again, that is a negative, but yet the markets are totally ignoring that and I've decided to short squeeze higher. Uh, we have German ZEW data that came out, uh, situa current situation came out worse than expected, but the economic sentiment came out uh, double, so certainly stronger than expected. Uh, we had the Eurozone ZEW survey coming out worse than expected, the economic sentiment. So again, overall net net a, a bearish uh, effect, but yet the markets are totally oblivious. Okay, we obviously you can see the German DAX here, totally, totally oblivious. Okay, now we're waiting the uh, economic data from uh, the US. We have inflation data coming out, Red Book uh, Index as well, industrial production, capacity utilization, housing market index as well. And we also have a Fed speaker, if I'm correct. Uh, no, I'm not correct. Yes, we have Mr. Fed, Fed's speech. That certainly is on the docket, and that will obviously shift to move 
uh, market uh, as well in terms of uh, expectations of rates and the dollar etc so those are the factors that we're going to observe and that's those are the factors that we're going to watch going into the next trading session so the german dax now from a technical perspective uh, you are looking at potential resistance given the fact that uh, uh, this has failed to close the gap below even with french terrorism concerns that's pretty impressive now the 60 minute chart again like i said you've exceeded the fib 75 percent we certainly can go and test 10,960, even test up the uh, 11,000. That's certainly no stopping it, given the fact that we've rallied so impressively thus far. Okay, uh, looking at a 10 minute chart of the German DAX, uh, again, we certainly seem to be uh, holding that pivot R3 resistance. But again, 10,960 and 10,995, uh, 11,000 certainly are not out of the equation. I mean, look at that gap 10,700 up almost 200 points today on the back of what? Absolutely nothing. What are we at higher on the back of? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so uh, now let's have a look at the French CAC now. The French CAC. Here we go. Okay, so the French CAC again, daily chart, certainly impressive. I expect the 200 MA to hold. That isn't even holding either. Um, certainly impressive thrust. The only explanation you could put that down to is the. Uh, euro falling i mean that's the only explanation you can give okay so the french cac is actually into the fib 75 percent resistance so it's certainly holding we have diagonal trend line resistance as well so certainly indicating a move lower here on the uh, the french cac again you have the unfilled gap below so that's something that we're going to observe and watch out for okay now we have the 10 minute chart here we are into pivot r3 resistance we have obviously pushed higher the market certainly seems to be uh, very very bullish and uh, characteristics that it's displaying at present are very very strong and very bullish now in terms of the move higher again i am short the cat that's my current position at present and my buy certainly remains bearish but uh, we must look at always look at the uh, both directions because my analysis may well be wrong and the market could continue and move uh, obviously considerably higher now we have this unfilled gap up here at uh, 4946 again that may well be a target. You have the unfilled gap below, which is at 4,800. That needs to close. So, And the inverted head and shoulders formation obviously has played out as well. So that certainly isn't negated thus far. Okay, so all resistance zones certainly taken out and certainly negated. It's very, very impressive move. Now, in terms of the euro stocks, let's bring up this chart of the euro stocks. Okay, euro stocks itself. Again, strolling up pivot R3 resistance. Looking at the daily chart again, what a very, very impressive thrust higher on the daily chart. Again, like I said, we do have this inverted head and shoulders formation, but given the fact that we have terrorism concerns from France, that certainly was the dominant theme, and that obviously has been ignored thus far. Look at that move higher. Very, very impressive move higher. We are into that FIB 75% resistance on the euro stock, so therefore you are looking for weakness at this juncture. Okay, certainly looking for weakness at this juncture. Now, in terms of of the FTSE 100 now again looking at the daily chart of the FTSE 100 we have propelled and thrusted higher quite substantially okay on the FTSE itself 60 minute chart again certainly have thrusted and broken out we are testing that FIB 75% resistance but we have taken out the diagonal trend line as well taking out previous support equals resistance as well so certainly is showing a very very bullish price action thus far the next move is looking to be 6320 6340 on the FTSE 100 okay uh, the daily chart uh, we've explained looks a look at the 10 minute chart on the jet and the FTSE itself yes we are finding resistance in the zone here at the 6370 6270 zone should i say okay and again what an impressive move i mean 6140 up to 62 uh, it's a 130 point rally today what a move what a move okay so certainly very impressive okay to say the least so the FTSE 100 certainly is very very bullish how we explain that Given the fact that copper obviously was making new lows, oil is certainly well, falling from resistance at the $42 level, so quite baffling. Now, in terms of FTSE, we have had stronger earnings this morning uh, from Smith's Group and obviously from um, uh, Land Group as well, and also EasyJet. But given the fact that we've uh, obviously rallied almost 100 plus points, that a lot of that was already factored in. But yet, this market chose to make new highs, even with obviously stronger inflation data as well. So you have to respect the move regardless okay so this is basically where we are in terms of the european markets they are defying gravity on the back of terrorism concerns totally oblivious to any geopolitical concern at present and the market certainly seems to be fixated on the qe uh, given the fact that the paris attacks obviously will uh, will embolden mr draghi and uh, will basically fire that qe bazooka and uh, hence the reason why the euro certainly seems to be lower so if you are into the buy the dip board or if you believe in qe then uh, 
I see no reason why you would want to buy at present. Uh, obviously, we would we would not want to buy at present, should I say? So it certainly seems to be the 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 QE mode or the QE trade, and the Draghi put certainly is in full speed ahead. Okay, folks, trade safe. Goodbye now.